Hey everyone, my name is Olaf, and in this tutorial I will show you how to make a uh, procedural art render like this one in Blender. As always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. So uh, press X to delete the uh, default cube, then press uh, numpad 7 for a top view, and then control alt numpad 7 for camera to view, and then let's set the number of samples to 128. And then for the resolution, we'll set it to uh, 2000 times 2000. And then next, we're going to set up the light. So uh, let's select the light source, then go into the light settings, change it into a sun, and then let's set the strength to three, which should be enough. And then let's make the background black. Okay, so press numpad zero to look through the camera again, and then press shift A and add a plane, and press S to scale up the plane. And then we need to save before we continue, just in case something crashes. I'm just going to call it toot and then press enter to save. And uh, then we can hide the overlay and open a new window. And then let's go into the shader editor so that we can edit the material of the plane. And then let's go into the materials and add a new material. And the first node we're going to add is the noise texture. So press Shift A and add the noise texture and connect the factor to the base color. And then we're going to make the uh, node four dimensional so that we have more values to work with. And then next add a Musgrave texture and connect the factor to the W, which is the fourth dimension. And then press N to hide the uh, side panel. And then let's grab these two nodes and add a color ramp. So press Shift A and then search for color ramp. And then set it from linear to constant. And by setting it to constant, we get uh, much more defined vector lines. So uh, let's uh, drag the position of the uh, white value. So as we can see, we're starting to get some uh, patterns. I'm going to set it around uh, 0.59. And then let's add another one. And uh, then I change the uh, color. And I'm going to make this one uh, blue. So you can create a uh, huge amount of uh, different abstract renders by playing around with the uh, colors, the positions of the colors, and then also the values inside the noise texture node and the Musgrave texture node. I'm going to set the position of the blue color a bit closer to the uh, white one. So something like this. And then let's add another color. We can give this one a uh, bit of a uh, darker blue color. And move it closer to the lighter blue color. And then we can also decrease the roughness value. If we take a closer look at the texture, you will see that we have vector graphics, which means that uh, any resolution is going to look great, even the really high ones. So uh, let's add another color. And this one we're going to uh, make uh, white. And then we're going to add one more color. And we're going to change it from uh, black to orange. So uh, I think something like this looks nice with the uh, blue, orange and uh, white. And then let's save before we continue. And we already have a uh, decent render, but you can also change the uh, settings under the uh, noise texture node and the Musgrave texture node. So uh, let's uh, play around with some of these values and see what results we get. I'm also going to show you how to get the result that you saw in the thumbnail. So you can just uh, duplicate the values if you want to. Increase the uh, dimension. And as you can see, 
it is starting to look more like the render in the thumbnail. But uh, the point of this tutorial is not really to uh, make the exact same render as me. I recommend adding your own favorite colors and uh, play around with the uh, different values inside the uh, nodes yourself. So, uh, something like this looks nice. And uh, you can also go crazy with the scale and get a very different pattern. But I'm going to set it around here. I'm also going to change the uh, positions inside the uh, color ramp slightly to change the uh, color distribution. And then before we start the render, let's uh, save the project one more time. So click on the plus sign, save, and then go to render, and then render image. And uh, that's it for this tutorial. And thank you to uh, Mr. Monkey Shoes and Terry Davis for supporting the channel.